Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Lomachenko Lopez, we deserve this, don't we? We've had almost nothingness between March and June, so I feel like the boxing fans deserve this, and uh, yeah, we've got it. I'm really happy uh, for the sport that this fight is happening. I think it's uh, one of the best fights in the world right now, hands down. I cannot wait for it. Uh, Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez is, is a hell of a fight. Uh, it's just very exciting. I mean, you, you know, three-division world champion in, Lope in uh, Lomachenko, um, just an actual, absolute stellar fighter. But there are a lot of interesting things with this fight. You know, um, I think you can, I can see many things happening in this fight. I could see many different outcomes. Um, you know, you could see Lomachenko just pitching a shutout and just putting on a clinic. You could see uh, Tifimo Lopez knocking out Lomachenko. Um, I just think there are so many things that could happen and there are so many different variables. And I think that at 135, uh, Lopez is, is tough for Loma because... Um, you know, he's had trouble at 135. I mean, he's, he's, he's won all of his fights there, but um, Pedraza um, and uh, uh, Linares, um, he's, he's had some different, you know, trouble uh, up at 135. So, <clears throat> and, and Luke Campbell. So it's not that he doesn't carry his power. He carries power, but he doesn't carry that one punch power. Um, you know, but at the same time, you could look at it like if, if, Tifimo Lopez comes in, you know, on the night, they'll probably come in around, I would say, Lomachenko, I would guess it'd be around 137. You know, he's a pretty small frame guy. Uh, I would guess that Lopez will probably come in on the night, maybe around 147. So, you know, is that going to slow Lopez down? Will Lomachenko be faster? I don't know. <clears throat> I know that, you know, Tifimo Lopez obviously has the, the big punching power um, that, that can equalize anything. And you, you look at different fights, you think... You know, does Lomachenko have to just have this stellar fight where he doesn't make any mistakes or he gets knocked out? That's possible. I mean, we saw that, you know, in the, in the first uh, Wilder Fury fight, right, where, um, you know, Fury just did great until the, the last round and he, and he got caught by Wilder. Then in the second fight, we thought it was kind of going to be the same thing after Wilder had fought Ortiz and, you know, Ortiz won every second of every round until Wilder chinned him. And then in the second fight, Wilder actually did punch Fury a couple times, really nice, connected, didn't hurt Fury at all, and Fury just walked through him. So you never know with boxing, and that's the whole thing. I mean, you look at, you know, Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson, like things can happen. You know, everyone says, oh, Lomachenko is going to, it's going to be an easy fight for him. Well, maybe it will be, and maybe it won't be. We just don't know. That's the whole thing with boxing. I mean, you look at certain other guys. The other thing, too, you know, Lomachenko... We talked about Usyk, a fellow Ukrainian, and they're in the same you know, camp. But those guys have a really great, strong mentality. And Loma, like I said, he's been in some tough spots and fights, and he's come through that. I mean, 396 and 1 as an amateur, he's seen everything. So he's not, I don't think he's too worried about Lopez. But at the same time, he's not taking, he's not taking it lightly. But Lopez also has amateur pedigree. And, and Lopez is a really exciting fighter. And you look at other fights like, even like uh, Mayweather and Diego Corrales back when they fought, you know, uh, many years ago, I think it was in 01. And, you know, it was a similar type of fight. I mean, Corrales was a scary guy back then. And, and Mayweather just really just made, you know, he, he kicked his ass, you know. And it's one of those things where you're just not sure what can happen. I mean, you look at another type of fight where a young fighter like a, uh, Fernando Vargas, you know, fought like Tito Trinidad. And sometimes when a guy is that young, a young bull, he can actually be so hyped up for the fight, he can, he can tire himself out. That could happen. That might be a banana peel for Teofimo Lopez. You know, after maybe four, five, six rounds, you know, he might be so amped up, he might, he might tire himself out. Um, we've seen that happen before. So there, there are so many different types of things that could happen. I mean, look at the fight with Danny Garcia and Amir Khan, where you think, oh, Amir's going to box his ears off, but that wasn't the case. So it's just hard to say always what's going to happen in a fight. That's what makes this fight so intriguing. Uh, it's a great matchup. Um, I just love it. And I think, you know, also speaking about like Mayweather, you know, he, he was always better at lower weights. He was more powerful at lower weights. But 
the big glamour division was, of course, 147, you know, and so he moved up. I mean, he, he did great stuff at the lower weights. He still did great at 147, but it, it was harder for him. Whereas, you know, Lomachenko, I think, is better at the lower weights. 135, though, is more glamorous. And so he, you got to give him credit for going up and fighting these bigger guys. Whereas Tiafimo is possibly a, a bigger guy than 135, but he, he campaigns there. So it's a very interesting matchup. There are a lot of ways to look at it. I cannot wait to see the fight. What have you made of the media side of things? I mean, people have said that Lomachenko looks rattled. I know you said that, you know, he's fearless and he, he won't be worrying about Tiafimo in that aspect, but does he look a little bit rattled or is that just people wanting to look for a, a narrative? No, I don't think he's rattled at all. He's a fighter. No, he's got ice in his, in, his, in his veins. I don't think either of them are rattled. I think they're fighters and I think both of them are chomping at the bit to get to, to, get to each other. I mean, the other thing too, don't forget, there's been a lot of trash talk and, you know... I don't know if it's necessarily Lopez or his dad, but, you know, it's very, it can be a thing where you wake up a sleeping giant. You know, I think that Lomachenko is now really, like, he's always in the fight, but, like, now he's really mentally in this fight. He wants to, he wants to do damage. You know, I think he's, I think he's uh, upset about the trash talk, and he thinks it's disrespectful. And, you know, don't wake up a sleeping giant. You know, that, that can happen. So, um I don't think either of them are scared. I think uh, they're going to go in there and we're going to see some ace performances from both guys. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.